Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another English review here at Thomas Opened. Um, hi, uh, yeah, I love doing these English reviews every now and then. You guys know that I'm basically, I'm Dutch based. So most of my reviews are in Dutch. Uh, I like to, you know, do some English reviews here every now and then for two reasons. Um, I find that it's actually a lot easier to express myself in English than it is in Dutch. Uh, there's a lot of terminology that I got used to that works better in Dutch. And I wanted to review this beer in English because I have no idea if this brewery is actually well known uh, outside of Europe. And I know I have some people across the globe watching. We're talking about a beer from La Calavera from Spain. It is their Godless. I love that label art. That label art is stunning. I love La Calavera. I love their label art. I love their sour ales. I love their stouts. And uh, I just really feel that these guys need need more recognition internationally. So I'm kind of hoping that this review will sort of, you know, maybe get a little bit of a international spotlight going on to them, not just for like Spain and Europe. Uh, I th actually, I think it's not just Spain. I think it actually says... I can't freaking find it. Anyway, just really wanted you guys to... Uh, to get to know these guys a little bit better. It, it says nothing on the label, except that it's water malts, hops, yeast. It's 8.5% ABV, uh, best by November, 2024. So I'm kind of guessing this is a few months old by now. And sour ale aged in red wine barrels. Now that, that tickles my fancy, that tickles me fancy. Yeah, why? I'm a sucker for sour ales. I'm a sucker for red wine barrels. And that combination can do some very, very interesting things. So we're just gonna take a cap off of this. Wait, before I do that, I would like to, I would like to very much take the time here to uh, thank hophouse.nl. They are a new uh, Dutch uh, web shop focusing on craft beer, of course. And they were kind enough to send all of the guys of the Dutch Beer Collective a box of six beers. This is one of them. I was amazed that when I opened this, that, that when they were like, can we send you some stuff to review? And I'm like, sure, go for me. Always cool. Fine. I love that. I was amazed to find some fantastic breweries in that box, including La Calavera. Like, wow, seriously, I really appreciate this very much. So this video is basically sponsored by Hop House. Thank you very much for making this video possible. And thank you so much for what I'm hoping will be a fantastic beer. We'll open this sucker up. What I've noticed with these Calavera bears, they, I don't think they really do any forced carbonation or anything because this one's actually quite lively. A lot of their beers tend to be from my, from my experience, under carbonated, but I don't always mind that with a beer like this, although this one actually is quite lively for a barrel aged. Oh, we're gonna leave some of the dregs in there for later. For barrel aged um, sour. Now look at that. This looks exactly like what you would expect a barrel aged sour to look like, especially when it had uh, a few months in a red wine barrel. There is this sort of in itself, it's a very deep amber. Like we've all seen, we've all seen Jurassic Park, right? I hope we've all seen Jurassic Park. We all know what amber looks like. So it has that, but with a reddish hue to it, sort of like an orange marmalade reddish hue going on. I don't think it spent a lot of time in a red wine barrel. I wouldn't be surprised if this only spent a few months in there. If this was like a year or more. I expect a little bit more coloration because the red wine would uh, color stain that barrel. And that would definitely stay in the beer a little bit more, but it has that little hue going on. Other than that, for some reason, yeah, this just screams sour to me. I don't know why. It just does. I'm already getting a few whiffs of some stuff here, and it has this lovely little, still a little bit of a ring of a white foam around it. Now, with a sour ale that's been barrel aged, you wouldn't expect a lot of head retention, but this is still doing pretty well, I have to say, especially compared to some of the, the Calavera beers I've had over the years they also have great names by the way like godless one of my favorite beers they do is an imperial stout uh cognac barrel aged i believe it's called blue blood fuck you i mean come on come on i don't think i reviewed that one did i i might have reviewed it during uh one of my boref's uh videos you could check that out but it's gonna be in dutch let's just see what this beer does in the nose right That's, that's grapey, not so super grapey. That is. I wanna live in this beer. The sour notes there have this lovely aged, like a, like a, a white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar in between. So there's that vinegary 
high class vinegar, like not that cheap stuff like that you buy, but like the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is everything that you want to use, for example, for in a vinaigrette or something. There's this definite oak presence and you presence and you get that you get that red wine vibe, but it's not too I wish they said which kind of red wine. Grape. I wish I knew the grape. That would have been amazing. Um and you get a vibe of that. Sort of red fruit, soft red fruit, sweet component from a red wine, the tannins, the oak. Uh, under it, you get that, you get that wild yeast thing going on, you get that sour. It's not as horse blankety, you know, farmyard uh, manure thingy that you would get in like a lambic in a Gaza. It does have that sort of funk. It has a de definite funk to it. And I love that. You do also still get a big multi backbone. There's no denying here that this is a malt forward beer um, with a big wild yeast component. This is definitely you get those those multi bready sugary notes, sugary, uh, multi bready uh, sweet notes. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is perfection to me. I'm. I mean, again, I mean, I w whenever whenever somebody, be it uh, a viewer, be it a brewery, be it a web shop, whenever somebody sends me beers, I'm always grateful. I'm grateful. But when I open a box and then there's a La Calavera in there, I mean, come on. And it's not like these are very rare or very expensive. No, they're not. Not for us anyway. Not for people in the Netherlands. I have no idea what it would be like, for example, for the UK, for the United States, for uh, some of the... Uh, 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 like, uh, phew, I got people from all over the world watching me these days. This is kind of weird. Like the Scandinavian countries or whatever. Davor, Davor, uh, if you're watching, I have no idea. Can you get La Calavera? Please leave a drop a comment, Davor. This is insanely good. And I've been talking for God knows how long. I need to take a sip now. Hop House, again, thank you so very much for sending this beer over. And um, I have no doubt I'm going to enjoy the ever loving fuck out of this. Cheers. Let's got that zing, right? Ugh, sorry. Oh, that's sour. That's that's exactly what I want from a sour ale. That is perfection in a glass for me. That has that zing that goes over the back of your head, like when you bite in like this lovely, fresh Granny Smith apple. Like it has that green apple-y, oaky, um, apple vinegar, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar sourness but a sweetness to it and it's so incredibly it's both it's both basic and complex at the same time because there's a lot going on in your mouth it's not uber complex as in there's like fifty thousand things happening in terms of flavor it is however so it's pretty straightforward all the things going on so it's like sweet sour um tannings oak it's all very easily defi defined and then yet again it's so incredibly complex because there's notes there that make me go, no, this is a red wine vinegar. And then you get, no, this is like a white wine vinegar. And then I get the oaks, so I get the tannins. And then I'm like, no, this is like fresh green apple, apple vinegar, vinegar, apple vinaigrette. Uh, there's a, there's that, there's that multi-sweet backbone still pushing around through my mouth right now. And I am insanely deeply in love with this beer. That's just stunning. And that was just one sip. I could drink this for hours. That funky component, which is not, you know, like again, in the on the palette as well, there's a definite um, forward funky note, which you would expect from a sour ale. But nothing as overtly aggressive as some gurzes can be, especially some of the younger gurzes, where everything is still a bit fresh and boom in your face. This is, it's much more subtle. I 
just need a moment to appreciate this for what it is. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. This is enjoyable. This is delicious. And this is everything I want from barrel aged sour. Thank you very much, Hop House, for sending this. Um, this will do me nicely. I can highly recommend anyone who's watching this, if you're into sour ales, go get yourself some La Calavera. They are top notch. They are upper echelon for me when it comes to sour ales. And I think this, this, this shit is like, what, five, six euros? This is this is is insanely well priced for 30, 37 and a half centiliters of sour ale. This is magnificent. Um, yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Um, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe. Um, in the notification box, you'll find links to uh, first of all hophouse.nl where you can find this beer and many others. Their um, assortment is still growing. Uh, by by the time that I post this, I'm hoping that there's going to be more. Beers available. They're, they just launched their website like a few days ago, and um, we're still in the progress of getting everything sorted, getting everything going. So just really check them out, see what they've got. They've got some good stuff already. Um, I'm not sure if they send internationally, but if, even if they don't, just if you're from whatever, wherever in Europe, wherever in the U UK, um, sorry, you guys left, so I can't need to name you separately now. US, Canada, Scandinavia, wherever you're from, check it out. Check this shit out go for it. And um, yeah, links to all of my social media, links to the Dutch Beer Collective, links to mysterybeer.nl. Um, and I'll see all of you guys in another review soon. And cheers.